Hey guys, I'm joining you today from uh, the woods um, back behind my house. And I'm joining you because uh, I was thinking about this time of year and about um, vernal pools and salamanders and frogs and all that good stuff. And uh, believe it or not, I was just out in the woods doing some things and I rolled over a log with the toe of my boot and I found a salamander. Um, so I, I totally wanted to show you guys. Um, so I've got this little container. Let's see if you can see it. Um, this little bug box that I've had for ages. And I, let me see if I can balance the computer. Hold on. Okay. And I put some moss in there because that's the kind of habitat they live in. So I took some of the moss right from where I found these two little salamanders. I found two. Um, and I put them in here. So I'm going to take the top off and see if I can find them. But first things first, I'm going to put my hands in some, uh, some water. It's not necessarily what you should be doing next to your computer, but there we go. There's science for you. Um, because salamanders have really moist skin, and so I don't want them to dry out um, just by being in my hands. So I'm going to peel back. Oh, it's hard to see what's going on. I'm going to peel back some of this moss, and we'll see if we can. Oh, there they are. Uh -huh, come on, little guys. Um, so they're a little sluggish because it's been a little cold. Um, but I'm going to try to see if, woohoo, there we go. Got them in my hand. Um, and let's flip the camera down, see if you can see these guys a little bit. See, even this one's trying to hide out um, inside this little stick. So they're little salamander buddies. Oh, they're going to crawl around in my hands. Oh, look, he's trying to get away by going down between my fingers. We're both trying to get away. Because they're trying to figure out. This is not their normal habitat at all. Um, see if you can take a look. I don't know how much you can see. Oh, look, he's coming. Do you see him? He's coming out from underneath my hand from back there. Ha! Huh? They've got the cutest little eyes. Let's see if you can see. Cute, cute, cute. Um, his little eyes and his really, really soft body. Kind of His body kind of reminds you of, of snakes and things. But these guys are amphibians. Um, not reptiles like snakes. And... Um, and they're pretty quick. They got those two little front feet, two little back feet. Oh, see that he's trying to get out from below my hand again. Um, oh, there he is. Sorry if this is kind of confusing with the computer. There's another one. Woohoo! And we're going to read this little book on salamanders. This is on Epic, so if you want to read something on Epic, you can do that too. Um, there are lots of salamander books there, so that might be kind of fun for you to... Um, looking for that lost salamander. He's here somewhere. Okay. Anyway, so there are salamanders, and you can see on these pages if you recognize any of the things that we just saw on our little salamanders. So first we'll look over here in the big circle. It says, look for these words and pictures as you read. There's the skin, the spots. These guys didn't really have any spots. The mouth and the legs. That actually just says leg. And over here it says, what is that? It's a salamander. One thing I love about nonfiction books is you often have just beautiful illustrations. It says, it is wet, it is smooth, and slimy. I don't know, slimy sometimes. Word slimy gets a bad rap, but they are kind of smooth. Then we have skin. A salamander lives near wet rocks and moss. Its skin needs to stay wet. Spots. Look at its spots. The spots warn predators to stay away. The skin has poison on it but it's not poisonous to you to hold on to them. But if you don't know if you're supposed to hold on to something, always ask a grown-up, see if they can help you. Well, look at that close up. It says, look at its mouth, it's wide. Salamanders eat worms. So this is his mouth and his head, and this is a worm that he's trying to eat. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what's next. It says, look at its short leg. It climbs, it swims too. It says leg. And with books like this and read alouds, um, you can always pause and you read the book, the page first, and then unpause and we can read it together. See the salamander blend in. It's hard to find. It is safe. You remember the big word for that? Yeah, camouflage, right? So it says, did you find skin, spots, mouth, and leg? And we did, and we found it on our salamander too. So that's super fun. If you want to read more nonfiction books, there are more in this series about other animals, and there are lots more salamander books too. So thanks for joining me, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.